Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Lyrics here to help me with this test. So I had a tech check a speaker and tell me the speaker was good, but the amplifier is shutting off. So this is a common problem. You can use a meter to see if the speaker is open or shorted, but it will not tell you if the speaker is good. So check it out. So we have a forum speaker and then we stand, use a standard uh, multimeter and we have it set to 200 ohm scale and the speaker's reading 3.4 ohms. You move the cone to make sure that the voice coil is not frozen. So my tech thought that the speaker was good. The problem is until you feed signal to that speaker, you won't know what it's doing at different frequencies. So this should technically mean that the speaker is okay. Now watch this. This is why having the proper tools is so important. So the DMORE tools are not cheap, the SMD tools, but they are worth every penny because it allows you to save a bunch of time. So now the difference between this meter and a standard meter is it does read the impedance, but it reads it while sending signal through the speaker. So now on low range, speaker never goes below four ohms. So all the way to 600 hertz, we're at 4.7 ohms. So that's good. Now let's switch to high range. That's 20,000 hertz. Now here's where we run into the problem. We're at 0.8 ohms at 5,000 hertz. This speaker is no good, and that's why the amplifier is going into protection. So using this meter, and we tried it with a fluke meter too, speaker read between 3.5 and 4 ohms. Using the proper meter, either the tweeter or the crossover is blown. We have less than 1 ohm at 5,000 hertz. We'll definitely send the amplifier into protection every single time. Important to use the right tools. There's the bed speaker. And here's the new speaker. I think that's gonna make the amp much happier.